So, 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 and grow, 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 guys. So today we are going to be talking about DIY fencing that I put together. I had to put a whole complete fencing together because of the dogs would not stop coming around. And then the other day, we caught one peeing in the yard. So I had to put one all around my greenhouse. So if you guys want to go inside, stay tuned. Guys, before we go into the, uh, the little yard that I got fixed up, I want you to check out the trees that I have outside of the fences. Fence. So. All right, guys. So. And this is a burlet pear, okay? I have two of these. One of my uh, fig trees, fiddles, another fiddle, I think that's how I pronounce those fig trees, those are not fruit, fruiting trees, this one here, so I just have two of them outside of this DIY fence that I put together, and this one is, let's see where she is, this is the hair, the oriental pear. Okay, let's see, she's just starting to bust. Oops. Let's just go focus. You guys can see her. She looks good. Alright, so this is my DIY fencing for you guys. Going all the way around. Connected to the fence. I had a lot of these fences here. I had about seven, maybe to maybe nine of different fences. I had this right here. I found by the dry stumps to one day. Last year. Uh, so I used this as a door. I'm trying to use it as a child's place. So it has a door. Guys, I'm going to go all the way back. So as we come in, <coughs> this is a fruiting fig. So that's, I think, that's what it is. Back here is my big apple. One of my big apple. Well, yeah, one of the apple trees. And this one is the pink lady. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping she got enough cold time. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I have to put these lights back into the ground. So don't like mind those. This are the collard greens. I pruned them. Added more dirt. I'm glad they're not flowering seeding or anything like that they look good so we'll look on the small one so you can see so i'm happy for that um there's some spinach under there i'm gonna move and move closer to over there okay so i'm gonna spread out some more but it looks good and healthy so that's what the greens look like i don't know what they're doing <laughs> i might have to put it in a different container it's supposed to be strawberries this is the rainwater this tree here is beautiful. Look at that. This is gorgeous, and I'm so sorry for the sun, guys, but you know, we're outside. <laughs> but look at that. Isn't she gorgeous? And this one is the peach contender. She is absolutely ready to burst. Okay. Inside these bags here, I have my. Um, my lemon trees, so I have under the bags, I have plastic under them, on top of them, and then I have these bags, all right? So before we go into this greenhouse, I'll show you what we have on the outside here. Um, another Celeste fig. There's some potatoes, I think, hopefully they're gonna be growing in here, but I'm not quite sure. This bucket might have to go out. I've been finding the buckets with potatoes that have been grown so huge. I've been finding um, them really moldy. So, yeah. It might happen with that one, too. So, this is the bed that I have. I'm so excited for this. I'm really excited for this bed, guys. I'm so excited. I'm not sure what size it is, but I'll be able to plant a few things in here, so I'm excited. Okay, guys. Okay. 
I'm really excited for this bed. I'm so excited for this bed. I'm going to be planting. I'm not sure when I'm going to plant in it yet, but this soil, this compost, it has so many beautiful worms in here. It has a lot of worms in here because I got this compost from um, potatoes. The potato compost, I cleaned it out and everything. And it just has, a, I mean, good, beautiful worms in there. So I cannot wait to plant stuff in there. Um, I'm not certain about this potatoes, either, these ones. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, look at that. See that? This is what I'm talking about. With the mold, a sweet potato. So I'm definitely about to start all over. Let's pull this one. Look at that. You can tell it just came right off there. So let's pull this one. That one came right off there. So that might not be any good either. These are potatoes. Really, really good. Um, can someone tell me what these are? I know this is supposed to be supposed to be potatoes. I'm hoping. If these are, do they know what, what these are? <laughs> what they, they have flowers. Maybe they're sweet potatoes. Who knows? I don't know. If someone knows, please let me know in the comments. Let all of us know. It could be just a weed. I'm not sure. There's another tree here. And this one is what is this one? Um, uh, the plum tree. Let's see. She's trying to come out. Absolutely beautiful. That's what we're looking for there. This is my, hmm. I'm not certain if this is my, I don't know what tree this is. I said it's dead anyway because um, I haven't the slightest idea. The roots still look good in there though. We'll see the star flower. I forget what that is. I don't know if that's grapes or what. That's my orange tree. She still is doing very, very well. Very well. My orange tree. Um, blueberries. I don't know. I might have to be ordering some of these blueberries and grapes again. But my trees are looking marvelous. Look at this one. This one's nice too. And this one is uh, the plum too. Another plum. I'm sorry. This one's the uh, Santa plum. This is the pink lemon blueberry bush. This tree is absolutely beautiful. I think this is a peach bush too. I mean, peach tree. This is the Bella Peach. Bella Georgia Peach. This is Bella Georgia Peach. And she's ready to bust also. So this is what you get when you prune your trees, guys. You have to prune those trees. Look at that. You have to prune those trees. And there's another tree here, this tree is, let's see, it's the other uh, pear burlet tree. Okay guys, so that's the other tree there. She's looking good too. I know I might have to move her a smidge over some because I don't want her touching the uh, greenhouse. I don't want her to burn the milk or whatever. And then this, I'm not, I forgot what bush this is. This might be the pomegranate bush. Or that might be the, I don't know. I might have to restart all of these type of bushes over. But my trees, now, they are beautiful. They're healthy. They're happy. And this one is the, yeah, this is the, the yellow delicious apple. So, this is what I mean, guys. You can grow in small spaces also guys you don't have to have a big space all you need is some containers and you're good to go okay guys you're good to go these are my myers like i said my Meyer lemons you're good to go all right let me just move this out the way 
I'm a little stepping smooth. I know I need to move for somebody's quiet fall and slip on it, but it's okay. All right, so this is inside of the greenhouse. Things are starting to grow now. Um, what's going on here? A mangoes in there. This is a uh, kiwi lime. I don't know if it's dead or what's going on. It looks good in here. I don't have enough of that. That mint is just popped out. Look at that mint, guys. Whoa, she popped out a lot, right? Everything's looking good over here. Things looking good over here. This is some lettuce. That's the broccoli. No, that's that. That's cabbage. That's cabbage. I started some more cabbage. It's the broccoli down there. I don't know what that is right there, so I'm gonna figure that out. These are just dying out here. Um, some more broccoli. These are gonna. Oh, I cannot wait, guys. Oh. Right. And this is supposed to be a cherry tree. I'm not sure what's going on. I might have dug the seeds. Sometimes I put the seeds way too deep sometimes. So that's what I might have done. Another mango. Now look at this, guys. Look at that. Our broccoli, a new leaf. Look at that, a new leaf on the broccoli. Just have to keep it watered. Make sure it doesn't dry out. And you'll be fine. Um, it's supposed to be like parsley. Oregano and dill or something like that in there. Um, let's see. These are the purple dragon reddish tail. Uh, purple trail dragon reddish. These are. Um, the corn didn't grow out yet in this one. Well, it didn't germinate. Um, this is the lima. Uh, this is the kale. Um, she definitely needs to be prior ready to go there in the ground. This is supposed to be a bush bin. It did not germinate yet. Um, Mama's cabbage, the red one that germinated nicely. It's time to put these peas in the ground. And this, oh. Alaskan. We got some eat nothing germinated there. I don't know what's going on. This is yellow squash. Some germination in there. Let's look over here. We got germination for the strawberries. So, yay. Um, no germination for the Spanish variety of peppers yet. Um, tomatoes. These are the pear tomatoes. Yellow pear. These are the Randell. So it looks like one germinated. Yay. Sugar baby. I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure that it's not supposed to be that. Okay. Um, these are the yellow petite watermelons. So it looks like I got maybe one or two germinations in there. Happy for that. This is the lemon cucumber I have some watermelon what's this one this might be that seedless watermelon a uh, moon star moon star moon star watermelon that germinated yay and then we got some sweet peppers some germination yay oh y'all hear that one there are my Apples. Look at this broccoli, guys. Can y'all believe how big that broccoli grew? Look at that, guys. This is what your broccoli is going to look like. Look at that. Just amazing. Amazing. We got some more things here. We got some peaches and cream. Um, peaches and cream corn. Yellow squash. Um, purple tomato. Uh, that's the different color carrots. Some more peas over here. This is some more kale. Some more kale. Uh, mammoth cabbage. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not showing you. 
um, sweet onions. Do get some damage for that. Peaches and cream corn again. Um, there's aroma tomato. I think I might have to do something with her. And some more Alaskan peas. And look at that cabbage, guys. You too can regrow. Just regrow it. Look at that one over there. Let me move this so you guys can see. Look at that. Okay? Y'all already know I'm going to show y'all good, bad, and ugly, all right? And uh, I have a cut. Nothing else grew out down here yet. So, yeah. So, that's all we got, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my little DIY fencing. I absolutely love my fencing. Yeah, no dogs can come in here and pee or anything like that. And I love it. And then I got space in here too, guys. I got lots of space in here now. I feel like I have more space in this area since I did this. And plus I have a bed, guys. I'm excited for my bed. I'm excited for my bed. I like it. I love it. I'm excited. I cannot wait for something in there. And as you guys can see, the greenhouse is open. I will be closing her in about another half an hour, but she is open. All right, guys, don't forget, let's grow together so we can eat together.